What is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your fourth React.js tutorial in which I'm gonna tell you basically what React offers also known as virtual DOM is. So React actually a lot of libraries other libraries also offer something like virtual DOM but I'm just gonna discuss it with a reference to React right now. So what React does is is that behind the scenes it creates a whole copy of the exact DOM you have on your screen, right? So let's just say if this is your DOM, if this is your DOM, I hope you understand DOM document object model, all these nodes. So what React would do, let me just get my hands dirty with paint. So let's just say if we organize this DOM, DOM in the form of let's just say some sort of trees or something so you know um, and this is this would be hard to rotate so let's just go with a line only so let's just say it's just something like this right so this is your actual dom right this is your actual dom so what react would do is that behind the scenes it would create an exact copy of the same dom but instead this would be react's dom right so this is react dom or what we could say is virtual dom right and whatever manipulation you do in the data Right, React would let's just say you modified something in this node of the tree of the DOM tree. So we can just paste it again, and uh, we are running out of space, anyways. So let's just say you change something in this in this node, right? So now what happens is that React checks that are the two trees matching. Well, it sees that this node is not matching, right? So React's DOM, which was the copy of the actual DOM, is now not matching to the DOM which is created when you modify a component or any part of your app using React's React or updated virtual DOM, we can say, right? So what React does is, is we'll just compare these two nodes or you know it'll just compare all nodes and see that these two do not match so react would go to the dom and would update only this node which is updated inside virtual dom right so react would uh, just update this dom this node on the actual dom so it kind of saves a lot of you know time because querying actual dom is kind of expensive and actually updating it every time like if you just replace the whole DOM with this it's quite expensive because you will just the browser would need to calculate the CSS and you know all the layouts and margins again so it's quite a kind of expensive task to do if your application is big so react kind of brings in this virtual DOM concept so that it just updates whatever is actually needed to be updated on the actual DOM. So actual DOM is kind of hard and uh, I mean it's kind of expensive to mess up with so we create another DOM copy and we just update it when it's needed. So that's how pretty much React's virtual DOM model works and uh, from the next tutorial onwards we'll just gonna get some code into our script files so that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching